you have a few holes in your drywall? This is a video you definitely want to watch. I'm Lee of CJ and Drill, and if this is your first time here, I just want to welcome you. We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you not just one way, but three ways to patch a hole in drywall when it's a hole punched through the drywall and there's no studs there to attach to. So let's get started. Now, our first patch is by far the easiest patch, but it's also the less durable patch. It requires very little tools and very little resources. Now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of scrap drywall for the patch, a utility knife, and you're gonna need mesh tape. All right, you wanna take a piece of scrap drywall large enough to cover the damaged area. Next, you wanna take a pencil and you want to outline around your drywall patch. Now, once you have the area outlined, you'll want to cut it out with a utility knife or a keyhole saw if you have one. And once you've got your area cut out, you'll want to do a dry fit just to make certain that your patch is gonna fit snugly. Right. Next, we take our fiber tape. And we're gonna just put it here, and then we're gonna fold it back. You want your fiber tape to look something like this, where you've got a band sitting inside the cavity, and that's what's gonna hold our drywall patch in place. Now it's time to insert our patch. Now I have to tape over the seams as well. So there we go. Our drywall is being held in place by our fiber tape. Now all we have to do is mud it in place. Now for our next hole, we're going to use a product that's store-bought. It's by Anvil, and what it is is it's lightweight aluminum that will adhere to the surface of the drywall. You simply peel off the back side, and now we're just going to apply it over the hole and you want to press firmly. Now our last repair, which is our strongest repair, you're going to need to make a drywall plug like this one here out of a scrap piece of drywall. All right, we're looking at our last repair area. If you notice, I've already squared up the opening. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of scrap plywood and a drill. Now once you have your plywood in place behind the drywall, you take a couple of drywall screws and secure the plywood in place. All right, our piece of plywood is securely in place. Hey, listen, make certain that you dimple your drywall screws into the drywall so they're not sticking out because when you go to mud it, you're going you're gonna to get a little bump there. So just make certain that the drywall screws are just a little recessed. Now it's time for us to take our drywall plug and do a dry fit. Now we're going to take a drywall screw and attach our plug to the plywood. And you want to dimple this as well. Our plug is secure. All we have to do now is mud our repair area. Now once your joint compound has dried, all you need to do is a light sand. Now, if you elect to use sanding screen like this here instead of sandpaper, just be aware that sanding screen has a tendency to leave scratches in the surface more than sandpaper would. So there we are. Here's our three finished patches. It's sanded up very nicely. Now all we have to do 
is paint. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.